What's going on, everybody? It's John, a.k.a. Buff Llama, and we're back playing some Black Ops 1. And uh, come around the stairs right here. See this dude? Oh, look, second chance. Hashtag bitch mode. See this dude in the corner with attack insertion. Take him out for the three kill streak. You know, we're back on good old Black Ops 1. And for some reason, Nuketown, the original OG Nuketown, plays a lot faster than 2025. I don't know why. I guess it's because of the target finder. There's no target finder in the game. There's less bullshit. Second chance really is the only thing that, that's bullshit in this game. But, uh, you know, this map plays very, very quick. Um, and I like that. I like getting into a game. And you'll notice it, the, the fucking, the, the timing that this game has, you know, or, or the amount of time that this game was over in. It was crazy. I believe this is like a three or four minute game. And I went 35 and two. And you're asking yourself, Llama, did y'all win? Well, we better have fucking won. There we go. Eight kill streak getting the Blackbird. I'm about to say, man, we better have won if I'm 35 and two. Because I noticed that on Black Ops 1, that the community that plays Black Ops 1 right now, and even back when it was the uh, co current Call of Duty, I don't. people sucked in Black Ops 1. It was terrible. The community was awful. And right here, we're going to pick up the 11 kill streak, pick up the dogs, let them run loose, do some work. Seeing all these people right here, and this is tragic, man. I did not see this cat come through the fucking truck. Had no idea. Um, but I get taken out right there. Throw up a grenade trying to get something lucky. But, um, you know, playing Black Ops 1, I noticed even back whenever this is the current Call of Duty game, people were not good at this game. I don't know what it was, but this was probably the easiest Call of Duty for me. Um, it's just, it sounds arrogant, but the people just were not any good at this game. Yeah, every now and then I ran into some people that were, that were pretty skilled at the game, but I bet, imagine like 90% of the time I was playing against people who had blindfolds on and they had no hands. Like that's, that's the competition that I had, but you know, playing this game is really, really refreshing. And there we go. Pick up another UAV. You know, helping my team out here. Running the motion sensor also, because I hate getting killed from behind. So I try and keep that to block my, to block the backside. But, um, you know, playing this game again is so refreshing. And, you know, there's there's problems with it. Obviously, there's like four like 4,000 people playing the game, I believe, on PS3. So the community's running a little bit thin. Um, but, you know, you're starting to see the game slowly slide out of existence. Uh, and you want to play it as much as possible. But, um... You know, obviously, this is one of the, one of the best Call of Duties I think in my mind. It was just there was hardly any bullshit in the game besides Second Chance was really the only bullshit in the game. It was just such a straightforward Call of Duty, just like Call of Duty Four was. Modern Warfare Two, not so much, but again, that game was ridiculous as far as fun factor went. But yeah, it's just it's so refreshing coming back playing Black Ops One because you know, like I said, one of the most straightforward Call of Duties. And if you missed out on this game, I highly suggest you picking it up and playing it before the community is completely gone. Right here, pick up another Blackbird, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and coast out of this commentary. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys this last few kills that I get. Take out this guy right here. See this dude coming around. Wait for him. Take him out. Wait for the last guy. Boom, get the kill. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace.